Hello and welcome to another News Roundup where we run through all the week's biggest gaming scoops from the 2nd to the 8th of July. Sony has bagged itself a bargain this week with the acquisition of cloud-based gaming service Gaikai. Sony Computer Entertainment paid $380 million for the company, which might sound pricey, but it's a whopping $120 million saving on the price predicted last month. There's been no official comment yet on exactly what the service will do, but sources are suggesting it will allow PS3 owners to play streamed PS1 and PS2 titles. Rumours of a similar deal in which Microsoft bought on live for half a Bourbon biscuit and a signed picture of Master Chief are as yet unfounded. Keeping it Sony, eagle-eyed users from the NeoGAF forums have uncovered possible plans for a slimmer, cheaper version of the PlayStation 3. Sony Computer Entertainment has submitted a streamlined blueprint to the Federal Communications Commission, the US government agency responsible for regulating wire communication. This comes alongside speculation that development on the next generation PlayStation 4 has been underway since August 2010. Somewhat unsurprisingly, Sony has declined to comment. Some game news now in the sleek form of Grid 2. Fans of the original race driver Grid have been badgering Cody since 2008 for a sequel, and it finally looks likely to arrive, possibly after the release of F1 2012. And seeing as Codemasters is now a dedicated racing development studio, they don't have any more excuses. Put your foot down, boys! And for the three of you that haven't played it, Final Fantasy VII will soon be coming to PC. The updated PS1 Classic comes packaged with 36 new achievements, cloud save support, <laughs> see what they did there? And, somewhat controversially, a character booster for people who can't be bothered to play the game properly. All in all, a prime opportunity to catch up with the second best Final Fantasy ever made. After six, of course. <sighs> Start commenting below. Now, for anyone curious about Nintendo's first real foray into the world of online gaming, it's been reported this week that not all of the Wii U online features may be free. Ninti Zawata-san ruled out an Xbox Live-style subscription model for the Wii U, but a PlayStation Plus-style premium service is still a possibility. Speaking of dropping bombs, a new multiplayer arena has been announced for anyone pre-ordering Black Ops 2. Newtown 2025 is a reimagining of the original seen in Treyarch's first Black Ops, tweaked especially for the futuristic sequel. Apparently, multiplayer fans love Newtown. The love was in caps, in case you're not sure. Moving on, it's been revealed that Halo 4's multiplayer requires a whopping 8GB of hard drive space. Since that's bigger than many games, we're not entirely sure what it's for, and it's problematic for anyone with slimline, arcade, or core model Xboxes. Somewhat unnecessarily, Microsoft has pointed out that playing with an Xbox 360 hard drive is highly recommended. <laughs> Who knew? OK, clicky fingers at the ready, people. This week, the new 3DS XL arrived in our offices, and you can hit the video here to see Matt going hands-on with it. Our Will It Fit In Your Pocket video will probably follow later. And from one hideously malformed monster to several now, click here to watch our extensive coverage of Resident Evil 6, which features footage from all three branches of Capcom's chilling action horror sequel. And yes, Leon is still the bestest. Time for the obligatory weekly number news. Microsoft have secured the rights to Xbox 8, winning a dispute that's bagged them the Xbox8.us and Xbox8.org domain names. Some are speculating that this could tie in with Microsoft's upcoming Windows operating system, while others think it could stand for Xbox Infinity, with the logo turned on its side. And then there's one person who thinks it's the number of exclusives that the machine will have. Which we think is a bit optimistic. To the Waffle Copter! I never asked for this. Well, you're getting it anyway. PlayStation Plus members can now download Deus Ex Human Revolution for free. Until the start of August, subscribers to Sony's premium service get the Extendo Armed Beard em Up free of charge, as well as additional bonus missions, 50% off DLC, and 50% off the original Deus Ex. Which is great news for anyone who likes moralizing espionage action. Or John Jack Bellatet's digitized face. That's all we've got for you for now, but let us know if we missed anything. And as ever, keep it CVG, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.